Hi, thanks so much for joining us. My name is Shannon from Strategic Intervention Solutions. Our website is sis the number four teachers.org. Thanks so much for joining us today. Today we're going to be learning about a game bump. However, in this game, instead of playing level one, we're going to raise the complexity to play level two. If you're new to the game Bump, I would suggest looking at our website at the level one Bump game before moving on to this level. This video can be played for your whole class to learn how to play the game, or students can take notes on the rules of how to play this game and learn how to play it on their own with math with someone. The materials we need are a Bump board. Teachers can put this in a clear sleeve to make it usable again or laminate it. We need a set of dice. In this container, I've counted out 10 clear blue counters. And in this container, I've counted out 10 red clear counters. When playing this game, you wanna make sure that you sit shoulder to shoulder so that you and your partner are able to see the game board from the same angle. The object of our game is to get rid of all 10 of our counters before our partner does. In this game, if you ever roll doubles, you get to go again. In this game, there are two rules. The first rule is that when you roll the die, you can either do the sum of your dice or you can do the two add-ins displayed on your dice. This game involves another level because it involves strategy for you to decide if you wanna get rid of one counter or two counters. It also makes you look to see how your partner's counters are dwindling to see when you might want to bump them to give one back. So we're going to demonstrate this with a variety of the options that you can use. I have two plus two. It equals four. I'm super excited because I have a double. My option would be to either A, put one counter on the sum, or I can put a counter on the two add-ins displayed on the dice. So in this case, I'm going to put my two and put another two. In the game Bump, when you have two counters on one space, you own this space. So if my partner wanted to use the two at all for the rest of the game, she can't because I've crowned it and I own it. I got double, so I'm going to go again. This time I got six. So again, my options for bump level two is to put it on the sum of six, but I really wanna get rid of my counters quickly. So I think I'm gonna to choose to use the two add-ins displayed on my dice. So I'm gonna put it on a five and a one. It's now my partner's turn. She's gonna roll. I've gotten rid of four counters. So let's see how fast she can go. She has six and four. She can either put one on her total of 10, or she can put one on six and one on four. She's gonna to decide to put one on six and one on four because she wants to be able to get rid of her counters before I do. I'm gonna continue and I have nine as well, where I can put one on nine I think I have an idea. I might want to crown my five. And because the game's called bump, I think I want to bump her four to put it back in her container. So I'm going to do the add-ins displayed, which is five and four. In the game bump, if it's not crowned, you can bump your partner, take their counter, and put it back in their container. My partner's gonna go now. Hopefully, she wants to get more counters on the board than just her one. Now, in this case, she has eight. She can either put it on eight, but uh-oh, I blocked the five. So it is not possible for her to get rid of two counters on this turn because the five is blocked and in level two, you have to put on the add-ins displayed on the dice. So she only has one option, which is putting it on the eight. We're gonna continue playing until we get to our, uh, to our end. In this case, there are, there's a two that totals this and I cannot put it on the two. In the game bump, we have a one, but in this case, I can only put one of mine on here. So if this happens while you're playing, I actually can't make this move because I have to be able to put two ones on the one 
or one on the two. Therefore, I would lose my turn, but I have double, so I get to go again. This time, I had the two add-ins of six and five. I immediately know doing the two add-ins is not going to work because I already have the five covered. But I do see that the sum of my two dice is open, which is 11. I'm getting closer to winning. I only have three left. My partner needs to catch up. My partner rolls and gets a double and has a four and four. Students really like it when this happens because she can either put it on the sum of eight and crown it, but she really wants to get rid of a lot of her counters. So she's going to happily bump me and she gets to crown because she took the two sums of two add-ins, four and four, and put it on her four to crown it. She got doubles, so she gets to go again. And this time she ended up getting 11. She knows that the five is closed, so it's not possible for her to do add-ins on the dice, but she's probably pretty excited that she can bump me off the 11 so that I have more counters in my cup. The game would continue to play until one of us ran out of counters. Whoever runs out of counters in this game wins the game. Be sure when you're playing this game that you're following the level two rules, which is either the sum of the dice or the two add-ins displayed on the dice. We're really happy that you joined us today and hope that you enjoy playing the level two bump. We also have a third level, which is called Bump Unlimited. If you get this idea of this game and want more of a challenge, you should check it out on our website at sis4teachers.org.